Roman trading. Trading saw a huge increase during the time of the Roman Empire. The movement of people across the empire and years of peace encouraged regional and international trade as farmers and producers could sell their surplus in areas further afield. Trade was vital for feeding large cities like Rome and the Roman army. Ostia was an important port where many goods arrived and were taken up the river Tiber on barges to Rome. Items traded include food and drink, materials for construction, and manufactured objects such as oil lamps. Evidence of Roman trading has been found from historical writings, such as those of Pliny the Elder, coins and shipwrecks. For example, a wreck found near Port Vendres off the French-Spanish border was discovered to be carrying olive oil, fish sauce called garum, wine, pottery, glass, lead, copper and tin. Britain benefited from trade with the Romans. They imported papyrus, pottery, olive oil and wine and exported useful raw materials such as wool, tin and lead. The Romans also traded outside of their empire, importing goods from Arabia, India and China, such as silks, spices, perfume and ivory. Some trade was transported by land on routes such as the famous Silk Road, but it was cheaper and quicker to carry goods by sea where possible. The Red Sea Corridor required a trip by ship of 4,500 kilometers, 2,800 miles, from India to the Red Sea port cities, whereas goods from the Far East arrived in Rome through two routes, the Red Sea and the Persian Gulf. The use of different trading routes ensured a constant stream of exotic goods in the Roman Empire. Although travelling by sea, you faced other challenges such as pirates and storms. So the Romans built lighthouses and the Roman Navy dealt with pirates in the Mediterranean Sea. To ensure enough food was supplied throughout the empire, trade was often controlled by the state. Trade was also taxed to help fund the empire, particularly the army. There were officials in charge of grain trade, rules for ship owners, and goods were stamped or tagged to prevent fraud. Britain relied on the Romans to provide secure trade routes, and when the empire fell, the amount of trading fell too. The Romans traded with the following territories. Remember, many of these countries' names have changed over time. Britain for tin, lead, silver, and wool. Spain for gold. France for wine, the Far East, now China, for silk and spices, Egypt for grain, papyrus and spices, India for ivory and spices, Africa for grain and exotic animals for gladiator fights, Sri Lanka for cosmetics and perfumes made with cinnamon, Somalia for medicines such as myrrh, Yemen for burial incenses such as frankincense, Syria for wine, Phoenicia, now Lebanon, for purple cloth. Arabia, for honey.